Hello everyone, welcome to our channel and we are continuing with our series of uh, Excel fundamentals that is our quick start guide. Now let's let's talk 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 about let's talk about why we would choose the keyboard over the mouse or the use of the mouse so that's what you are going to look at in the next slide the use of a keyboard over the mouse as you can see finance professionals use the keyboard over the mouse for a few different reasons number one it definitely saves time that's our number one reason as to why finance professionals prefer to actually use prefer to actually use the keyboard over the mouse it definitely saves the time it allows you to perform to perform to perform tasks even faster and more efficiently and also it improves on your agility that's our, our our second reason as to why we actually prefer to use the keyboard than the use of the mouse it improves on our agility allowing you to move around more quickly and move more easily and finally it actually it, it it's a kind of it's a kind of fun in other words it, it, it the this the the third the third reason is that it's fun you are going to be learning a new skill and you are probably going to really enjoy working with working much more efficiently with the use of a keyboard because you are going to be learning a new skill first of all and it's it's since you are going to be learning it creates it's it, it creates some enjoyment because there is something new that you are going to be adding on yourself in other words you are learning something new but at the end of the day you are working faster than you you are expected because you will see those two to three minutes those two to three seconds that you can save on each task they sound to be a little bit smaller but when you sum them up at the end of the day they add up to to some hours of course you find yourself saving an hour or two because of the use of the keyboard and that's what we are going to actually learn now what you need to do is think about yourself and your computer just put yourself in a situation that you are actually looking at at the the at yourself and at the same time you're looking at the the computer and just assume that those two they are working as like they are working they are working as a team you yourself the person who is actually doing the work and the computer itself you are like a team because you are brought together to actually do the work so the idea here is that the computer's processor is going to be very fast it's always very fast as we know that's one of the characteristics of a computer it's fast faster 
in other words the computer processor is very fast is very fast and even your processor in other words your brain is also going to be very fast so now the logic here is that if your brain is faster and even the brain of the computer is faster then what is going to be the argument the argument here is that the slowest part of the whole system is the place where you interact with that machine in other words if you have if you are using a mouse you are going to take more time to enter in a given command in a computer but if you use the keyboard you are going to use the shortest period of time to enter a command in a, in a, in a what in a computer because for you are going to be knowing what to do even the machine knows what to do but what is going to delay is the time it will take for the for the machine to receive that command and so that it can actually start processing so that's the slowest part the, the slowest part so if you are using the mouse for that interaction you are going to take you are taking much more time than you need to when you are using the the keyboard so if you swap the use if you swap out the use of the mouse and start using the the keyboard you are going to eliminate one of the key bottlenecks in your workflow in other words the slow movement or the slowest part is going to be removed and by eliminating that bottleneck in your workflow you are going to be moving much more quickly and more efficient with the, your computer or your processor or whichever machine you are you are using so what we are what we want to do here in this course is to challenge ourselves in other words we are going to be at a challenge we are going to challenge ourselves we live the usual way we knew of how to use or how to enter the to enter the information using the keyboard and we focus on the use of we are going to challenge ourselves not to actually use the mouse and in fact even after this course to continue try to avoid the the use of the mouse or the track whatever trackpad and swap it out for for the keyboard if you do that it's going to be much more efficient so switching over to the use of the keyboard is definitely going to be slow i know in the beginning because we've been using our mouse to enter commands but now we want to focus all whatever we have to do by using the keyboard itself without touching the mouse i know in the first in the beginning it's going to be a bit slow even switching it yourself making your mind to remind to to remember that you are not supposed to use the mouse it may be a bit confusing but this is what you need to to do i know it will be slow in the short term but it's like any other investment because for any other investment you will do you need to put in time so in other words do this as an, an investment give yourself time to actually learn this and be able to focus on the use of the keyboard 
than using the mouse. So we want to start, we, we, we want you to start this course. In other words, when you are when you are going through this course, make sure you are also starting to use the keyboard. And you make sure that you try you try your best to make sure that you are using the keyboard for the things that we are going to be doing. And these things that we are going to be doing, we are going to take you through on what to do. For you, what I want, what I only request you to do is to actually follow the way we do things. You do the same way because we are also going to show you the slowest part of using the mouse, but we give you the quickest way of using the of using the the keyboard most times. But we prefer you to focus on the use of the keyboard alone. And as I said, I know it's going to, you are going to find it a bit tough. It's going to feel a little bit uncomfortable and it will be even awkward. But we promise if you invest in the time, you are going to come out of it being much more efficient and being able to work on things at a faster rate. And as a finance professional, you are going to come out when you know actually how to use Microsoft Excel in a fastest way. So that's what we wanted to discuss in this video. It was very brief, but we wanted you to pick those ideas. So in the next video, we are going to be looking at the Excel layout. In other words, we are going to be looking at the Excel interface. And we are going to be discussing how each of them is actually laid out. So. That's all that we are going to look at in the next video. So, we we'll see you there.